everyone so for this video I'm going to show you how to create a template with moving parts that kids could um, move about and drag and drop I guess into the different places so um, this is part of the activities um, session that I ran this week and last week but I didn't really touch on how to make interactive ones um, I showed you how to set up an activity with a template but I didn't show you how to make the template as such so this link down here is going to take you to the slide deck and we're going to I'm going to use this template here as an example to download as an image for the back of our template so that's downloaded just down there so on seesaw I'm going to click create new activity I'm going to give it in title um, I'm actually just going to leave my instructions for the moment because I'm going to want to set up the activity. So I'm going to click add a template, upload, and I'm going to upload that there. Now I'm going to put a name of some blends. So I'm going to put a ch blend here, and then I'm going to duplicate that and make it a sh blend on this side. Um, I'm just going to change the color of that really quickly and I'm also going to lock it in place which means that it can't move. Lock that in place. Cool. Now I need my objects that I want to be moved about and I'm going to use emojis for this one. So I'm going to make this transparent and I'm actually going to insert emojis from my Chrome browser so I'm going to find some ones that have got ch so I know that there is definitely an emoji for a chocolate um, probably a little bit too big let me duplicate that um, but now I want a different one um, let's see, I know that there's a chick. Um, let me duplicate that again. Um, and um, what else is there? I, oh, I need some shh ones. So, um, sh shower? Is there a shower? No. Oh, there's a boat, so we could do ship, um, ship, and then let me just do one more, just for the sake of the example, um, and you don't have to use emojis, I'm going to show you how to insert other pictures that aren't um, emojis after this, um, shower, is there a shower? shower cool okay so I would have these down here at the bottom and my kids or you could have them in the middle whatever you prefer really um, and your kids would need to move them across now if you want actual pictures too you can use the upload um, feature so let me just quickly google some um, things that have a sh so let's do um, shoe and let's just save these as images really quickly. Save as image. Um, let's do shovel. And then let's just do one ch. So let's do, um, oh, mm, chimney having a mind blank on what begins with a ch. All right, so let's just save those three. Cool, let's go back to our activity. We're gonna upload those. You can upload more than once, so that was singular. You can upload more, multiple, you just select them at the same time, and then it will insert them at the same time. Cool. Okay, so now these are text labels that are actually able to be moved. So I'm going to click on the tick. Now I'm going to quickly add my instructions. Oh. 
cool. Let's just save that and let's just see what that one looks like. Cool, awesome. So now I'm gonna assign it to my class because I wanna test it and make sure that it's all fine. So let's just go to the class. Now I'm going to add a response. I'm gonna choose my name. This is like the test phase and you can see whether you've got it sorted or not. Um, so I'm gonna use the move the move one, so not the pencil, I want the move selected, and then I can drag them over to the right place. There we go, and then you tick it to save it. So you could do this for any type of movable activity that you wanted. Um, this one is just showing you how to use the labels to create them and also how to upload photos to use.